Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. I've been pretty preoccupied lately with creating content for this channel and making paintings for my videos. It's been a ton of fun, but I've also noticed that I haven't been devoting as much time to practicing and refining my skills as I wanted to. That's why I think this is the time to take another online course. Go back to study. Hi everyone, I haven't really talked to you, so I have a problem today, like it is super hot right now, so I really have to turn on the AC and I close the curtain so the studio is a bit hot and it's not a bit hot, it's really hot and it's also dark so I really need to uh, turn on more lights and I don't really have enough light as you can see over there only one light and one light from the ceiling um, wish me luck, hopefully my video will turn out okay now let's see I live in Bali and this is a part of the world where it can get really hard um, it's not only during certain times but almost throughout the whole year <laughs> but um, normally it's a bit you can feel the heat during raining season more than during like dry season probably because of the humidity as well so you sweat a lot so yeah um, this week was no exception even I felt it was really really hot but I still have to keep going and yeah I have to improvise a little bit with the studio set up here I'm using burnt amber and I mix it with a little bit of um, solvent um, just to draw the portrait I found that it is easier for me to use big uh, brush like this one, a square one, other than a small brush to map out the features. in oil painting or in any art I guess you have to trust the process to be able to get there to the final great art but then to be honest I sometimes don't trust the process like this one I was actually freaking out to see well it's just you know like the first step is laying out all the colors um, and I think I use totally wrong um, brush so it doesn't really look nice and smooth um, so yeah it looks a bit creepy I think I really need a boost of inspiration right now so maybe I will go out of the studio and go somewhere maybe visiting a museum so we were in Ubud it's really green nice air 
And this museum is beautiful. This is the entrance. We were very hungry, so we had our lunch first with this view. This is the entrance of the museum. Super, super green and nice and breezy. La, 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 la. This museum called Museum Furilukisan. It is surrounded by lush greenery and I just wish you were here to experience it all with me. There was a period called Pitamaha. It means a great vitality or strong determination. It started in 1936. It is the period where various Western influences and emerge with Balinese art. In this first building, most of the paintings were made in black and white using Chinese ink and paper. They also have tons of amazing woodcraft. Does it remind you of something? Voldemort, am I right? So let's go to the next building. I enjoyed strolling around in this garden. This building full with wayang paintings. This art form of painting developed strongly from the 10th until the 15th century. Paintings in the wayang style are intimately connected to the art of shadow puppet theater or wayang kulit in subject matters and aesthetic quality. It is influenced by Hindu Japanese culture since the conquest of the island of Bali by the Majapahit dynasty in the 14th century. This is one of our favorite cafe in Ubud. Pretty interesting ceiling. <laughs> Back to the studio, I opened the curtain and I put everything back in place to their original position but then it was still very hot so i had to move outside of the studio again <laughs> this time i'm gonna paint next to the stairs and i'm sorry i forgot to shoot um the setup but yeah i continued my online course and finished my painting The age-old saying, practice makes perfect, as cliche as it may sound, this saying holds a lot of truth. Putting in time and effort to practice is crucial for improving and achieving our goals. When we are truly passionate about something, Practice can be an incredibly enjoyable and rewarding experience. We have to remember that every little bit of practice counts and that with time and dedication, we will get closer and closer to achieving our goals. Thank you very much for watching everyone and happy practicing